Troutfest is a community event. It's free to enter. Here at Troutfest, we have something for everyone. We have something for the kids. We have fly tires. We have great brands selling cool merch or showing off cool merch. I'm with Colorado Women Fly Fishers and also one of the tires here at Trout Fest, which is the Colorado Trout Unlimited event. It is the event of the year, helping <laughs> learn about our waters and our fisheries. Trout Fest is a great, uh, being here in Denver, um, you know, in an urban area where people are exposed to fishing. Um, provides a good opportunity to have uh, people that are wandering by a Coors Field come on down, learn about fishing, how to fish. I mean, I think recruitment into a sport like fly fishing is, is critical, right? The, the idea of, con of conservation when it comes to fly fishing, what we see in fly fishing is people being much more conservation minded for whatever reason that is. Uh, more so than other sports. And, you know, what we really believe is the more youth that we can get into fly fishing, the more they're gonna have a conservation mindset and the more that they're gonna be able to engage with groups like Trout Unlimited. We do a lot of education, but we also like to build camaraderie and community and connection so that when you are coming to fly fishing as a sport or as an activity or as a community, you are very well welcomed. I think that Trout Fest is a great opportunity um, to get anglers just more inspired. There's a lot of taxpayer dollars that go into fly fishing, um, and this is a great way to see where those taxpayer dollars are going, um, especially in regards to water resources, um, sustainability, conservation. We are involved in conservation on sort of two major levels. One is as advocates. You know, we are out there advocating for protection of our fishery resources, trying to keep stream flows healthy, working to protect water quality, protect our public lands and keep them available for anglers to enjoy. Uh, and then the other side is that we do on the ground work, projects to help restore habitat for wild trout, for native fish, um, whether it's uh, sort of rolling rocks to create habitat features or planting willows to help improve riparian conditions. We're out there trying to reconnect habitat so fish can freely move in systems that have been fragmented. Um, it's all about basically making better homes for fish, which makes better opportunities for angling. And that's kind of what we're trying to do, just make the public aware, you know, of how to keep our natural resources uh, in good condition. So future generations can enjoy the environment also. I believe it gets the kids out of the house and doing video games and internet. They, they can get outside and enjoy, you know, the beauty of nature, you know, and, it, and it's, it's very um, peaceful. To be able to bring a, a young angler into the fly fishing space or into the trout space uh, particularly, there is so much to learn. That's the great thing about fly fishing in general is it is a sport that you will never stop learning. So understanding the ecology of a watershed, understanding insect life, understanding fish species, there's knowledge that is never ending. So I have two young girls that are 15, 13 and 15, and you know the idea that we can teach them this now and they can do it for their entire life. Um, you know, it's just a great opportunity to be able to engage with the outdoors, uh, engage with conservation, and something they can keep doing for a long time. And if our fish don't have allies out there working for them, trying to protect their habitats, trying to help restore habitat for them, then they're gonna continue to struggle. And so we're just trying to make a future for fish and that will hopefully create a future for fishing.